So this was me two days ago. I don't think we're getting a remake. If an official announcement comes out, I'm gonna look like a fool. You fool! You clown! The Harry Potter remake is officially happening. Let's discuss. It has been confirmed and reactions have been, understandably, mixed. I mean, I personally, personally, I'm feeling 12 of all four of my emotions right now. I mean, I thought by the time they rebooted it, Daniel Radcliffe would be old enough to play Dumbledore. But regardless, we can all agree that because it's been 12 years since the last movie came out, the timing, the timing is impeccable to use this line. I did my waiting, 12 years of it. Is it weird that they're making it so soon after the original movie was a success? Yeah, yeah, not gonna lie, yeah. I mean, no time has passed. The adult cast has barely aged. I mean, how are you gonna recast Dame Maggie Smith while she's still alive and well? How, how are you gonna do that? Is Harry Potter gonna be the next Spider-Man or Batman? They just remake it once every decade? Our generation loves nostalgia. For a lot of us, it feels like life's gone downhill since we were kids. And do you know why? It's because life has gone downhill since we were kids. I mean, there's a reason a 30 second clip of Steve from Blue's Clues had the entire generation in tears for weeks. This era of remakes I think can largely be attributed to the success of one movie, Toy Story 3. The message that all the studios took from that beautiful storytelling was that nostalgia sells. The problem nowadays is that everyone wants to be Toy Story 3. Not everyone can be Toy Story 3. Toy Story 4 couldn't even live up to Toy Story 3. It's hard to create something that's going to have any chance of being enjoyed as much as the original. Reboots are hard to get right. In the case of franchises like His Dark Materials, Percy Jackson, or A Series of Unfortunate Events, which were all movies based on books that had TV series reboots made shortly after the movies, there was everything to gain by making those movies into TV show remakes because the movies flopped. The franchises never even got finished. So the TV show remakes were an opportunity to tell the stories that never got to be finished on screen and to give a faithful adaptation to the books. Harry Potter, on the other hand, was a massive, massive success. Now, now listen, I know a lot of my videos are making fun of the differences between the books and the movies, but I love the movies. I think despite the differences that I like pointing out, Why did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? The movies are a very faithful adaptation of the books. And more importantly, they were successful. And when something is that successful and beloved, the bar is high. What is giving me hope and optimism for the success of this remake is um, one thing, The Last of Us. The bar was very high for The Last of Us. This was a well-crafted and beloved game with a beautifully told story. But despite the odds, they did what many remakes aren't able to do, which was they created something that felt completely fresh while still being a faithful adaptation, right? Because it's one thing to just successfully retell a story. It's, a, it's, it's, it's another thing to create an adaptation of that story that is different and fresh enough to be something new while still being honest to the original. If you look at other TV adaptations that were successful, um, this is something that they did as well. My friend Ryan uh, mentioned in our Harry Potter group chat that it would be great to see the universe crafted differently. Like in the case of the tone and atmosphere of a series of unfortunate events, the movie was almost Victorian and old fashioned in style versus the almost whimsical and bizarre-ish universe that was crafted for the show. And His Dark Materials did this as well with the, the movies having this, the movie, having this sort of Lord of the Rings fantasy epic style and, and the show being more sort of grounded in all, all, like a, a realistic style universe. I think if they can do this with the Harry Potter adaptation, where they can make it fresh and original while still staying true to the story, it could be something very, very special. It will not be an easy task, but it is doable. And you know, it, if they fail, if the remake is bad, okay. You know, what have we lost? We still have the movies which we know and love. And while I think, you know, we do need more original content and not just remakes or reboots, if I'm being completely, completely honest with myself, a Harry Potter TV show is something that I, and I think many fans have wanted and dreamed about. The, the chance to see the scenes and the details of the books that the movies didn't have time to show, I mean, that would be amazing. That, scene where Harry is breaking everything in Dumbledore's office after Sirius dies. That wasn't in the movies. It broke my heart that that wasn't in the movies. Listen to me, HBO. Look at me. Look at me. I cannot handle the heartbreak twice. 
You have to put that scene in the series. I'm no longer asking, I'm demanding. I am very excited to see these stories told. So why is there a part of me that despite the excitement still feels sad? I think it's because compared to the other reboots and remakes and sequels, prequels, remaking the Harry Potter movies seems almost anti-nostalgic. It's the anti-Toy Story 3. It doesn't feel like a tribute to the characters you grew up with. It feels like, I'm not saying it is, I'm saying it feels more like an overhaul. It feels like a replacement. And that is the sentiment I've seen in a lot of the comments of people who are upset by this announcement. As someone who was around the same age as the characters for each year the movie came out, watching the original movies was really like growing up with the characters. So there's a deep, deep sense of nostalgia for a lot of us. And I'm realizing when I watch the new series, I'm gonna be someone who's long past <laughs> the ages the characters are in the books. And outgrowing your favorite characters is always hard. I think that's why there, there's a lot of sentiment of, why are you taking the Harry Potter we grew up with away? But I think a, a better, happier way to look at it is um, this isn't a remake. I've been calling it a remake, but let's not call it a remake, right? We're not remaking the original movies. We're not taking away from them. It's just another adaptation, right? Tom Holland's Spider-Man doesn't take away from Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire's versions. If the Harry Potter movies were a delicious pie, let's say they're a delicious treacle tart. They're not taking the tart away from us. We're just getting a second, hopefully equally delicious tart. And if it's not as equally delicious, that's okay, because we still have the first tart, and either way, we get two treacle tarts now. I don't actually even know what treacle tarts are, I'm gonna be honest. Who's someone who lives in England, please comment and tell me what a treacle tart is. And now growing your favorite fictional characters is okay. Aging is a good thing, it means you're still here. There's also a great, great opportunity to make the main cast a little, a notch more diverse and let a new generation of kids see themselves in this story. Warner Brothers, give me an Asian Luna Lovegood. I'm not above begging. I think if it's done right, it'll be like, we all get to go on this journey again, but we get to go on it at a different point in our lives than the first time. Yeah, maybe I'm wearing the biggest clown shoes, okay? But <laughs> I don't know where that sentence is going. No, I, I mean, I, I think that there's reason to be cautious and I think that there is reason to be excited. And I think you can be both those things at once. And I think you can be disappointed that we didn't get, you know, a, a, a side story that we wanted to see. And I think you can be excited that there's the potential to um, flesh out the story on screen in a way that the movies might not have had time for. Anyway, clearly there's a lot of feelings, so please let me know in the comments what your feelings are. Um, I would love to hear everyone's opinions. And if you liked that, please subscribe if you would like to and join this nerdy little fam.